I drew a little graph here and Hello everyone, this is Dr. Joe on this short video. I'm going to talk about the importance of blood sugar levels and hormones in your system. Now, I just drew the, this graph out. Now, how we normally would like to be, we'd like to be at this healthy blood sugar line right here. This is the nice homeostasis where our body thrives to be at. This is when everything's functioning normally, our body's burning fat for fuel, your brain feels good. What happens is that when we take in a, in a sugar, like a carbohydrate meal, Insulin, it's a hormone stored in the pancreas, is released. The function of insulin is to bring down the blood sugar levels, okay, to a normal level. Now, the problem is, is when you take in too many carbohydrates and then insulin, too much insulin is being released, insulin also increases the triglycerides because what that does, it works as a fat storage. This is where you get high triglyceride levels in your blood. Also, too, it increases your cholesterol levels. So then... What happens if in between meals, if, you get, if your blood sugar drops, you get the jitters, you get irritated, then another gland kicks in called the adrenal glands, which they sit on top of the kidneys. That releases a hormone called cortisol and adrenaline. And the function of cortisol is to elevate the blood sugar levels. Okay, so again, either you have too much blood sugar with the insulin or you have too little blood sugar and then the cortisol is released to again we want to be right here in this median this healthy blood sugar line the situation occurs is when another organ comes into play and that's the liver the liver has many jobs it's a detoxifier one of the functions of the liver is to regulate blood sugar levels because it stores anywhere from 70 to 80 grams of glucose in the liver and what happens again when we have too low blood sugar levels, it's released in the bloodstream to increase the blood sugar levels. Okay, so if you're having too much of this, this wave-like effect, the liver takes away from its job and that's to detoxify the system. Again, it works to produce, produce glutathione, it helps produce bile, it helps regulate the hormonal levels. If your hormones are fluctuating throughout the day because the blood sugar is going up and down, you're not, the liver's not doing its job as it's supposed to be. And that's the main thing is to detoxify the system. Okay. So the main goal, what you want to do is to regulate the blood sugar levels. How do you do that? Eat quality proteins and fats. Now quality proteins and fats, when you eat a quality fat, fat, the thing about eating fat, it doesn't release the insulin. Insulin is only released when you're eating a carbohydrate. So for people who are borderline type 2 diabetic and or diabetic or have, again, insulin resistant, this is the importance of lowering your carbohydrate levels, increasing your fat levels because then the insulin is not being released. Also two carbs, a non-starchy uh, vegetable source. Again, you, the goal is to lower that insulin levels. If you're overweight or just want to lose weight, definitely you want to. Decrease the starch, your starchy, and your fruit. Fruit contains fructose, and fructose pulverizes the liver. Now, again, I always say do not have fruit, but I always say keep it down to one or two servings of fruit, okay? And increase your vegetable sources for the bulk, the filler. Good quality vegetables helps the liver, helps clean out the liver. You want that liver to be clean because it's a detoxifier. So again, the main, your main goal is to stabilize the blood sugar. And also you do that again with diet, high quality proteins and fats and good vegetable sources and exercise. When you exercise, you utilize, you utilize the stored glucose in the muscle and the liver for utilizations to help stabilize this healthy blood sugar line. Okay, and that's your goal. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, I'll see you in the next one. Hit the like button and definitely share at the front. Be good. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Hey, it's, over the last couple of years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously and I can only appreciate it the viewers who subscribe now if you're watching this on YouTube please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos or you could always google my name Dr. Janan Jawad and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page again if you hit the subscribe button you'll get the most up-to-date videos and thanks everybody who's watching I greatly appreciate it thank you